Thought about it. Purvis from the left side. That one rattles in. Well, it's important for him to see the ball go in, but also kicking. There goes Rodney Purvis, teardrop, and gets it to go. And Rodney Purvis. There's a sweet jumper by Rodney Purvis. Murphy stays with it, and then he's blocked by Larrier, and a run out. Here comes Rodney Purvis attacking the rim, and Rodney Purvis. This game tied at 36. Purvis step back as the shot clock is winding down. Big shot. Rodney Purvis putting it on the deck, floating it in off the window. They said that all Tariq did dislocate his left shoulder. It is back in place now. But as you can see, he's in street clothes and will not be returning to tonight's game, guys. Well, Rodney Purvis got away with a the walk there. He planted his pivot foot and changed it. There's Jackson. the back door. There's the back door cut and the slam for Purvis. Beautiful find of the bounce pass from Jackson. And caught all ball. He just went. Adams, nice look. Purvis for three. Got it. The Huskies. You know you've thrown a bad pass when a 5'11 guy picks it off when you're lobbing to a big guy. Purvis too easy all the way to the bucket of Brandon. Will you, will you stay in your lane, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you want to call a play? <laughs> Purvis. Yes. And a block by Vital. And here he comes. This is a, a young looking Freddie Brown. Purvis. Three. Penetration in dish. Purvis on the attack. And the floater in the lane. Wow. And Rodney Purvis. Set your standards higher, please. Rodney Purvis. Got it. Long two. So with Purvis and Adams. Banked in straight on from Purvis. Rodney Purvis from the corner. Man, so glad that he was able to survive that experience when he got here to Maui. And it was so kind that Mike. And a big three for Rodney Purvis. Do not have their names on the back of their jerseys. Again from D. Rodney Purvis. Wow. Come in here. This is a great basketball program. And they got all they could handle from Chaminade as Purvis continues to sizzle from the outside. To speed up the game and to take the other team completely out of their rhythm. Rodney Purvis drains a three. Rodney Purvis from long range. His second three. The difference between last year and this year Rare turnover by Casey Benson. And Purvis lays it in. Whoa. Does it put them in jeopardy of not being able to finish? Rodney Purvis That's a big time gets the roll, plus one for Chris Boucher. They might want to guard him. Purvis lays it in. Vance Jackson is checked into the game. He spots Rodney Purvis on the left side, and Purvis rattles it in his first bucket of the game. Out of the way, Purvis was there, but just got knocked off balance. Rodney Purvis right back the other way, but wide open. Basie got to it right back to Adams in the lane. And now Purvis launches, and he drains a three. Boy, the inside-out play, but how about the rebound? He's coming up 26 points against North Florida. He had a victory. For the orange, here's Purvis trying to answer, and he does. Boy, that's too easy. Kind of windshield wipers back and forth. Doesn't put a lot of pressure on the defense. This does. Purvis, yes, right through for two. Uh, that is just going to get better and better. And he, is, he is so much better than he's played thus far. Purvis with a three. Boy, it's amazing. That... Purvis way downtown. Yes! Boy, I can't believe it, Dave. UConn can take the lead with a three. That is hard to imagine, given how bad things look for the Huskies for so long. It's amazing. The last time they led, it was 19-17, and now they're back in front again. Purvis on fire. There is still a little magic left in this building in the Syracuse-UConn rivalry. It ain't old Big East anymore, but... Really nice job to look back, and Rodney Purvis was ready to shoot. Like, he's feeling it now. Was ready to shoot when he caught it.
And it's a pretty simple motion, pretty simple stroke. Al Tariq Gilbert likes it. Purvis with 21 to lead all scorers. K because he made plays for his teammates. That's the real zone killer. Pull up three from the top as Purvis. Syracuse on Monday. You didn't see a real pretty basketball game. I haven't seen one quite yet here. He was unable to pull that one down though. Potter got it, although it was taken away. And now Purvis is all alone underneath the basket. And overall, trying for their fourth and five games. Jump shot from Purvis. And Rodney Purvis from three gives UConn the lead right back. 15-footer on the way, around and out. He is yet to score. Enoch. Purvis, again, there's Rodney Purvis. Finally gets one to go. Good job of paying attention to Dallas Moore. Rodney Purvis, little up fake. Oh, that's good rhythm. Rodney Purvis, his second bucket of the game, and that's a three. He's got six. Well, Florida playing a little matchup zone at the top. A little one, two, two. Rodney Purvis, high arcing jump shot. Now Rodney Purvis is beginning to feel it. As you know, Gary. Rodney Purvis has taken 66 threes this year. That time the lane opens up for a flush and a two. Durham, who wears 23, has had some knee issues of his own. Now battling to get position down low as Purvis sends it high off the window. Younger players, about how hard you have to play, I would think that he's trying to get someone to compete at a higher level. Vance Jackson has come back in. Purvis, two-pointer. It's good. He went to the locker room and has yet, yet to return. Purvis, three. Got it. This and you really use the clock to get a good shot. Purvis, natural shooter, launches his first three of the game, and it drops. Purvis, and count it. Took advantage of uh, Houston's inability to get back on defense and set up a three-point play. It was probably a quick shot by Van Beck, and then on the retreat, nobody picked up the ball. Rodney Purvis just found a seam, and this is the Rodney Purvis that UConn fans and Kevin Ollie thought they were getting. And his first field goal of the game. Ball turned over now in a bad pass. Bounce pass to Purvis, who finishes with a flush. Big time block right at the rim. That was Colley. That time Purvis gets the roll. Taco and a chicken go well, ahead. Hey, maybe. That, that would be fun. <laughs> I guess we have to talk about something in a, in a 20 point game. But here comes UConn, down one. 7 16 left first half. Rodney Purvis knocks one down. The depth is eight right now for UConn. Shot clock at six. Purvis from way out. He's in the comfort zone, man. Blocked by Prima. <laughs> Purvis, other end, lays it home. And one. It's come from. Well, so far, it's all perimeter. Purvis drills one. There's your answer. Lawson continues to guard Prima. Here's Rodney Purvis over Crawford for three. Rodney Purvis trying to miss of this conference. And if they can get half the teams, almost half their teams, in the NCAA tournament, that's saying something. Purvis, late in the clock, gets it to roll home. He's got five, and we're tied. But also the athleticism, and you see it come out defensively, particularly. Good job by Purvis on a tough shot, but Memphis, its largest lead at 20, capping off the three-point play. Purvis from the outside hits a three, his second of the night. Uh -huh. Check for him, I would think. <laughs> Adams to Purvis, controls it, and lays it in with contact. Purvis has been in a shooting slump, and he throws up a three and hits it. And that's a good sign for UConn. Adams whips it in the corner. I'll tell you what, right now, UConn is rolling. Rodney Purvis, a rare spot and rest for him. Purvis. Good to see him back in, and he finishes on the break. His feet, not leaving his feet, and getting that cone of verticality treatment. Purvis. Wow. UConn, a much different team. Which, oh yeah, by the way, he can touch the top side of the rim without leaving his feet. Purvis with a right hand. Who was at Michigan. That is a 
Loose ball. Vital Purvis with a layup. Timeout. Purvis step back. That's a two, and he got it. What was on the line? And we are tied at eight here in the first half. Purvis another three, and this one is good. That was a great screen against Temple. Brima back in the game, hands off to Purvis, cuts into the paint, puts up a shot, and he gets the roll. Shoot, Alani Moore had it knocked away. Play on, Purvis, look out! Beat Georgetown 68-62 last season in Hartford. Purvis had 17 in that game, and he hits that jump shot from mid-range. Too much, he, he's a heady, heady young man. Baseline Purvis again, and he knocks down the triple from the corner. And a steal. As Facey just plucks it out. Purvis to a jam. Largest lead of the game now for Connecticut. In and out. Here comes Adams. Diagonal pass wide open. Purvis. Adams has been brilliant. And Purvis got reek on him. Purvis, his jumper is good. And you know, East Carolina likes to switch screens, and what happened? A little bit. And a turnover by East Carolina. Purvis ahead of the field, and the throwdown. That double team's got to be a little stronger and not let a guy step through it. Purvis catch and shoot, and it's good. He shoots, and it's off the side of the rim. Purvis, 18-footer. It's good. A steal by Purvis. Purvis tracks it down. Purvis lays it in. Time out, East Carolina. Michael Perry. He's into double figures with 11. Purvis trying to answer. And he does. Good shots. Late in that first half, and it's continued in this second. Purvis, finger roll, plus the foul. Here's Jalen Adams, their star point guard. Five to shoot. Rodney Purvis from the perimeter. Four lead early on. This is their first double digit lead since. Adams driving kick to Rodney Purvis. Right down the shoot. Adams an assist away from a double double. Purvis catch and shoot. That goes down. Six to eight feet out. This is isolation. Purvis a deep three, but see that's a better shot because the shot came back to him. Thrilling win over Xavier on Thursday really helped in that regard. Purvis, slow start, but Rodney. Purvis, deep, yes. He's just a much better shooter when the... Cam Reynolds working on the freshman Vance Jackson. And a tip away results in a turnover. Rodney Purvis! And then with authority, Mark, third down. Shoot the gap, and then the right hand flush in transition. UConn now up 10. And turned over. Here's the towel. Hands it off to Rodney Purvis, who gets the bucket. Kevin did say to us that he didn't want to use him because he didn't practice, but he really has no choice because of the foul situation. Now three, now Quadri Moore comes in. He and Kyle Washington can really shoot for bigs. Purvis steps back. Got it. Now hands it off to Purvis. Eight to shoot. Nice from Purvis. Low post, didn't really give any help, but he went halfway, just enough space for Washington. Three from the corner for Rodney Purvis. Purvis do what he wants to do on the defensive end of the floor, but if Kyle Washington scores like he does today, <laughs> he's yeah. gonna be hard to take out of the game. Up and down, racetrack type of game. They've gotta control the tempo a little bit better. Foul issues were Definitely a concern and a, and a major part of this game for you. 3 2 zone, mix it up a little bit. Doing that now to protect the perimeter. Purvis continues his hot shooting as he knocks it down from the corners. Enoch facing up on Santos, kick out Rodney Purvis. Another 
one rattles home for Rodney Purvis. Bibby takes a tough tumble on the floor, leaving. Fitz missed three, tap out, UConn has it. Purvis pushing, attacking, and one! Purvis gets the bucket and a foul on Bibby. Shot clock turned off. Purvis, deep three. Purvis has an answer to the Tom Holston three. So Purvis buries the triple, ensuring UConn has a double-digit lead at the half. Here's Purvis. Stays hot. Fourth made three of the game for Rodney Purvis. Huskies get the first one. It's a 17 to one start. Purvis. Rodney Purvis, the hottest shooting stretch of his college career. What a tough game. We'll play SMU again. Cincinnati again. Tough, tough game. Ooh. Bombs away for Purvis again. Six made threes in the game for Rodney Purvis. Adams needs to get hot. Drive and kick. Purvis left alone. Got it. He's feeling a little bit. Shot clock under 10. Corner. Purvis. Got it. Nothing coming easy against those big guys, Facey and Prima. Adams on the run. Oh, how about that look? Wide open, got it. Purvis again. How about that look? On advantage, 125 first half. Purvis three, got it. Hasn't missed a shot. Amazing. Minutes, but with the injuries that we've documented, he's been forced to, and it's really coming on for him it lately. Really is. Purvis again. This guy is on fire. In conference games. They need to step up right now. At least Purvis certainly while he's on the floor. And a step back three on cue. His first points of the night. Purvis off the overcommit from Jamario Rivers. Rolls to the basket open. It's almost too late. Facey the knockaway. Adams the pass. Purvis the dunk. And it's a six point game. For two. 1.9 to go, Vitell gets it, Purvis will throw it down, and Connecticut with a huge comeback on Memphis to win it in Hartford tonight. Purvis trying to take on Diggle to his right, that's a tough shot off the window. Wide open shot from the perimeter. More of the freshmen started 23 games, Purvis, oh, got a great look. You know, Enoch doubled up down low, gets it back out high, here's Purvis. He wants to fire it up there. Yes, all that. I tell you, they can they can start to rip it from three. And Purvis has been sensational. Purvis lines it up and fires. He got it. That three-pointer on target. Boy, he's just been lights out. And a nice little pass inside. Nicely done. 17 for Daniel Dingle. Six out of 11. And a bank shot up and in by Purvis. They have righted the ship here with a three-game winning streak. Pull up pop by Purvis, and he's starting to heat up. Shot clock is at five now. Purvis straight on, sinks it. He is sizzling. Boy, well, looks over at the UConn bench, taps his chest like, I got this, fellas. Three of 11 on two-pointer. Steal by Purvis. Purvis to the rim. He leads the American in that department. He has been the Iron Man as a redshirt senior. And Purvis buries one. There you go. <laughs> Deep. Got it! <laughs> Too bad. You know, each kid being a 5 2 player can dribble, can pass as they turn it over here. Only the second. Rodney Purvis going coast to coast and a much needed bucket for the Huskies. The NCAA. We'll, we'll make <laughs> that suggestion for I you. I just threw it out there. I just threw it out there. Purvis follows his own miss, makes it in, and he's headed to the free throw line. And that's the difference. Shots being made by the Mustangs and shots being missed until then by Rodney Purvis. And he's capable now and execution here. We move towards the nine minute mark. Purvis, that's good. One guy for East Carolina, the only guy that has knocked down threes in this game has been Caleb White. Rodney Purvis has the answer for Connecticut, a three. Making sure his team kept possession. Connecticut has scored the last six points. 
Purvis lining one up. A three-pointer and the foul. Prime of the rebound for UConn. Purvis knocks down the three right in front of his fan base. Tie game with 90 seconds remaining. Adams up ahead. Purvis charging it again. This time he finishes. Rodney Purvis has the last four for UConn. Into a powerhouse. The 92 final four. Purvis pulls up there. 12 second chance points for Cincinnati. Purvis, first made three for UConn. Ryman gets it on the post against Clark. Cutting Purvis off the look from Amita Prima. Yeah, that's by the time Copain turned his head. And Guerrero looked like he was throwing an alley-oop for De Silva. Bounced off the rim. Rodney Purvis gets it to go. Holston drives. Adams gets a piece of the ball. Purvis. Purvis. All the way to the rim. Here's Vital. Out to Purvis for three. Well, Rodney Purvis, we talked about it. He came ready to go. And tonight, he has been attacking the rack. Well, so the Huskies open an advantage. And now the foul on Jake Bodeway will send. 10-0 run for USF. Purvis got his own lost ball. De Silva back the other way, runs into his own man Santos. And Purvis will finish. Now it's a two-point game. Purvis trying to change that and does. Well, whatever Rodney Purvis was saying, Vance Jackson and company should listen because he's had all the answers tonight for UConn. He's played a very good game. UConn's going to have to really focus in on him, giving a lot of help. Purvis! The circus shot for two more. Seven, and it's all on the shoulders of Rodney Purvis. Well, Rodney Purvis came in here with a lot of hype, the transfer from NC State, and he has had a lot of really nice games over his career, but... Maybe no game is more important than tonight for him, and he has delivered in a lot of ways a complete game on both ends of the floor. 40 to go in the game. Purvis pulls up. Oh, my goodness! You talk about a clutch shot. Shot clock running out from long range. Well, a little step back, a little creativity, a little shot over the big fella, and a smile. When it's your night, it's your night. Hey, isn't this fun? <laughs> Inside to Colley, stripped away. Adams anticipated the inbound pass. Curveless, and one. Now, this is Jalen Adams at his best. Feisty, last night he didn't play with a lot of toughness on the defensive end of the floor. But here on the weak side, great recognition of the strip as Colley puts the ball down on the floor and then the push ahead. And this is reminiscent of last night, the attack from the wing by Rodney Purvis with the finish and transition and a foul. Foul on West Van Beck, his second. Purvis shooting the Huskies run. That's a bad shot by Rodney. Purvis. to shoot. Purvis on Devin Davis. High glass! It's up the UConn attack. Meets the double team, comes back the other way. Finds Purvis for three! Jalen Adams here. Purvis the step back. been revitalized by their guards and this man who refuses to go home Rodney Purvis feeling it in Hartford I say yes and the extra
exclamation point on the night. And Rodney Purvis has played like a new person this weekend. Off the bounce, his traditional threes from the corner and just a lot of toughness. And don't forget about his defense. Here's Purvis trying to get going, and that's the way to do it with a three-pointer. Adams trying to be heard from, forced that shot. Rebound comes out high, boxed around and taken in by Purvis. Shot like a two, has to heave it. He backs it in from three-point land. you got to be kidding me. It turns that left ankle real, real brief, and good job by Purvis to recognize, I've got two ticks. That's strength to shoot a fall away, turn around. He can get cooking, shot clock like at 10. Airborne his purpose again. Yes! He hits a three. The junior from Flint, North Carolina. Well, Purvis, back-to-back -back threes. The one was under duress of a shot clock. This off the playmaking of Jalen Adams. How important is Adams? Well, Rodney 